everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel, Everything Tech. Today we're going to be discussing the On Wireless Headphones in Black. I previously did a video discussing the white version of these, and I recently purchased an additional pair because I like these headphones so much. And so what we'll do in this video is we'll do a quick unboxing of these, we'll discuss the general features and the specifications, and then I'll provide feedback on my personal experience using these over the past six months. Okay, so this is the Groovon or On wireless Bluetooth headphones. You can get this from any Walmart, both online or in the store for full retail price of $20. Um, I bought this pair for the full $20, but I previously got my other pair, uh, which are the white version of these for a discounted price uh, in the clearance aisle, which was a great price for, I think, like five, $8, which was pretty crazy. Um, as far as the packaging, it's pretty simple. What you'll find in here is gonna be the actual headphones, um, a charging case, and and then a charging cable. Um, the charging cable will be a USB uh, cable, but it won't have a wall adapter, so you might need to buy that separately. Um, however, that's everything that comes in the box. Um, on the box here, um, the only thing I'll mention is that it does say wireless earphones, but this does say environmental noise, noise cancellation. I don't remember if my last pair had that feature, so it'll be interesting to see whether that actually um, is a feature for this or whether I notice a difference. Um, and then on the top right here, it says that there's 22 hours of play time which is pretty consistent with the experience I've had on the back it does say the specifications so it says Bluetooth um, 5.2 um, as far as um, connectivity it says active environmental noise cancellation it says 15 minute charge um, two hour playback with normal mode and then total play time of 22 hours and it says that it's IPX4 splash proof um, as far as the features what I've experienced personally um, with the other pair is that I'll get about four to five hours uh, use out of the headphones before I have to put it back into the charging case. After that, um, you'll have to charge it and um, you'll, the charging case will get about four to five charges out of it. So you do get anywhere from like 22 to 26 hours of use out of the charge whole system as a whole before you have to connect it to the wall adapter and recharge everything. Um, what I'll do real quick is I'll open this up packaging. We'll show what's inside. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the packaging. The packaging opens like that. We'll get rid of that. Um, you'll have a quick start guide which will be this instruction book here um, it's pretty simple here it basically shows what comes in the container or the bot packaging um, shows how to get, connect your um, the Bluetooth headphones to your phone um, it's pretty simple what you do is basically turn these on um, you'll put them in the charging case um, with them like essentially pull them out and then put them in the charging case uh, and then close the lid. That'll activate them and then you'll just have to go to your phone and uh, find the device on it underneath your Bluetooth um, menu. And once you do that, you'll be able to pair it and then it'll sync automatically. Uh, it also discusses other features, so powering on and off, you essentially just pull it out um, and put it back in the case. Um, sometimes if you're not paired directly, you'll have to go to your phone directly um, as far as pairing it. Um, and then the other features, it does does have um, both music and um, call features. Um, so for uh, music, it'll have, if you press or push on the side twice, um, it'll allow for play and pause of music or answering um, or hanging up phone calls. I believe that my, my prior pair, the left one was um, allowed for voice or, uh, or phone, phone calls, and then the right uh, earphone allowed for uh, music features. Um, it is pretty sensitive, so if you're running and stuff like that, if, and you you hit it briefly, it may play or pause the music uh, depending on that. Um, but it is a good, nice feature to have for a Bluetooth set of headphones. Um, and then here it basically discusses charging them, which is essentially putting it back in the case. Um, and when the charging case actually goes dead, you'll have to connect it to the wall mount. Um, on the back here, I don't think there's anything specific, um, really just kind of like warnings and stuff like that. So that's the quick start guide. Um, and then as far as the headphones um, or the case, what comes in the case or uh, the packaging, um, beyond that, you have the actual headphone and the headphone case, and as I discussed, this USB um, cable. We'll just open this just to show you it. So this is a relatively short cable, um, maybe about like 
six or so inches. It looks like it's a USB-C port on one side with a regular USB on the other side. As I discussed, you'll need some sort of wall adapter. Um, so you'll have to get some sort of USB wall adapter to connect this directly to the wall. If not, you can use your phone, um, use your, uh, your computer if you wanna charge it that way. Um, so that's the cable that comes with it. And then as far as the case itself, um, so what you have here, sorry, um, is the actual case. Um, this case is a little bit different than the other one. So it, this is my prior one um, in the white version. So this white version has this kind of like um, shiny white plasticky material with a clear top. Um, as you can see, when you open up the lid here, um, there's LED lights um, both on the case as well as the headphone. Um, what'll happen is when the charging case is fully charged, it'll be green. Um, and if the headphone, it needs charging, it'll blink like this, where it's like this red and white um, feature. Um, what I've found, the only complaint I have with this white version um, is for some reason, sometimes what's happening more recently is that this left earphone, um, for some reason when I put it in doesn't always set and charge immediately so I have to be careful with the positioning and kind of get it um, set so right now it's set but sometimes it's, it's just kind of like not aligned appropriately so I find that sometimes it's just not fully charged when I use it um, as far as taking them out it's pretty easy as far as you use so you'll just pull them out like this and then you'll be able to use them immediately um, and this is what the white version looks like and then what we'll do real quick is we'll pull out the new black version um, but as far as side-by-side -side comparison this black version is more of like a matte black it's not shiny at all it does have like a matte finish to it as far as texture and feel um, and then when you pull these out these are the actual headphones um, which look a little bit shorter than the white version. Let me just see. Yeah, so there's a little bit of a difference here as far as this older version. I don't know the, the, what they changed as far as that. Um, but here's the case. The case actually has like the actual charging case. Um, as you can see here, they actually changed this uh, layout. So now the, the earphones are pointing inwards rather than this feature here. So that's a little bit different. And the only other thing I'll say is that from what I can tell, um, this may not necessarily have that uh, that light on the top, which is kind of strange that they changed that. Oh, so the light's here. So they move the light to the front of the case rather than on the top here. I suspect that's because this clear case, um, you can easily see through it versus with the matte finish, you can't see through it. So when the lid's down, you can't see it. So the nice part is the light is directly in front here. So that is still a feature for this one, um, but uh, that's really it for that. And then what we'll do is we'll pull these out real quick and um, take off the labeling uh, just to see what it look and feels like so bear with me for a second um, but when it comes off you'll have to take out this labeling um, there's a little charging adapter on the bottom there on each one and then that's it so that's all the packaging um, so essentially when you throw this in here let's see if they light up or anything um, on the top I don't know necessarily. When I originally did the white ones, um, they weren't fully charged, so you do have to attach it to the wall for when you first charge it. But as you can see on this edge here, it's actually on the side. There is a light there. It is a white blinking light um, that probably, it might be a little bit of a different feature where it's blinking or white when it needs to be charged. Uh, it does not look like it has like the red, white LED, uh, which is a little bit different than this white version. Um, and as you can see, it's on there too. So. Um, I'd have to look into it a little bit more, but it, what I suspect is the, the white when it's blinking is meaning it is either being charged or needs to be charged. Um, so that's that. And then there is a label on the back here, which I'll just take off here, but I don't think it serves any purpose as far as things. It just essentially says, so what it says here is it says, first time setup, remove the white films and drop earphones back to charging case. Close the charging case top lid, open the lid again. Earphones will automatically go into pairing mode. So as I discussed, what you want to do is just take off the film like I did, put them back in the case, um, open up the lid, and then put them back down. And so that's what we'll do now. And then what I'll do real quick is I'll pull out my phone and we'll pair these um, to my phone. So if you go into, so as you can tell, if you, I have an iPhone um, 11, if you go to the Bluetooth mode. Um, so if you look here, these are my on wireless headphones, the white ones. Um, so I'll disconnect from those uh, just because they automatically pair. So let me actually disconnect from that. And then what we'll do is we'll open up this case lid um, 
sorry, that open up the case lid and then close it. And so here is a new device that I have not seen before. What it, the labeling says is on TWS Noodle, which is a little bit different. So we'll hit that and then it should pair automatically. It might take a second for the first initial time. So it says pairing unsuccessful. Noodle is turned on, in range is ready, so you have to do it again. So for some reason, it's not acknowledging it. Which, I, when I first did this the first time with the white ones, for some reason I did have this issue. So let me just pull these out again, put them back in and close the lid. So we'll just hit this again and see if it pairs. I'm sorry if this takes a while. If, if this continues to have issues, well, there is, um, as it's doing now, I'll figure this out um, off camera and then I'll come back to this in a second once it's paired and we'll discuss the features of my general feedback uh, beyond just looking at the case. Um, and we'll provide a side-by-side -side comparison of the black and the white ones. Okay, so it did take a little while, but after multiple attempts, it did pair using that general setup. Um, what we'll do real quick is we'll just compare these white ones and the black ones side by side, just because there are some nuances that are different to each, um, between each model. As far as the case, we already discussed that as far as the clear versus unclear top um, and the fact that the light is on the top on the white one versus the front here, um, both essentially have some indicator for um, whether the charging case is charged. And then on the bottom here has a similar USB-C style port where you can touch this uh, or attach this to the wall for charging. Um, you'll get four to five of charges out of this uh, for the earphones before you have to charge it again. And for at least my personal experience is when this gets um, the white one um, starts diminishing charge, this will turn to a red and it'll provide indicator that you'll have to charge it and it charges pretty quickly uh, without any issues. Um, as far as the earphones side by side, um, there is some little nuances. So um, this is both the left earphone for each. Um, essentially the, the general feature is very similar as far as the setup um, or the layout. Um, the, uh, the, as far as the earphone portion, um, there's virtually no real change except for this opening being a little bit larger on the, the black one. Um, but overall the same sh it's the same shape and design. Um, the, as I discussed, the the black one has a different a light on the side here on the side versus the top for the white one. And then what you can see is that the um, the the black one is a little bit shorter compared to the white one, and the white one has this kind of tapered edge that has this little kind of like holes in it for charging versus this is a flat surface uh, for charging. I don't know if there's any differences as far as the quality and the build for that. Um, personally, I've not had any experience with it charging issues with the white one other than um, like this not sitting entirely within the port. I would suspect that if anything, this might be a little bit better because it's more exposed. So it might sit better in the, the actual charging station and charge a little bit easier. Uh, but those are the little nuances. Uh, what I'll do real quick is I'll throw these in and show a side-by-side -side comparison. We'll just talk about the headphones as far as my personal experience. Okay, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the white and the black um, headphones. Um, here is the white one, and then here's the black one. Um, as you can tell, when you look straight on, uh, because the white one's a little bit longer, it does protrude from your ear a little bit further. Um, so it's not as subtle versus the black one because it's shorter. It kind of just sits in your ear and it doesn't protrude as much. Uh, as far as comfort, they are very similar. Um, as far as the design, they fit very well into your ear. Um, I personally have not had any issues as far as it falling out of my ear without some mechanism causing it. Um, so if you kind of like pull your shirt or sweatshirt over your head or hit it by accident, it'll fall out of your ear and it'll fall to the ground. Uh, but when I'm running and working out, I've never had issues as far as it falling out entirely. If anything, it moves a little bit subtly and you have to just adjust it and fit it into your ear again. Um, but it is pretty convenient and it, I haven't had any issues as far as it moving and things like that. Um, I haven't had any problems as far as pain or discomfort in my ears. It sits pretty comfortably from that standpoint. Um, and then the only other thing is I'll say that um, at least immediately on comparison, the uh, black version, um, does have a different tone when you put it in your ear. Uh, so these automatically, when you pull them out of the case, will pair with your phone. Um, the nice feature is if you have music already playing and you turn these on, automatically it'll start playing through the earphones. And each earphone has a some sort of feature, either pressure or position sense, where when you put it in your ear, it automatically makes a noise indicating that it's on and paired to your device and ready to go. And then it'll turn on the music automatically, which 
which is nice and convenient. Um, the thing I'll say is that with the sensitivity or the touch features to it, um, sometimes if you have to adjust it like this in your ear to fit it, uh, if you're working out or things like that, it'll pause the music for a brief period of time, uh, which is a little bit annoying because it'll pause, it'll wait about 10 seconds, and then it'll automatically play again, uh, which is annoying if you want to continue listening. Uh, but the nice feature is that because say somebody's talking to you, you take it out of your ear, um, it'll pause the music briefly for a period of time. Um, you can talk to somebody and then put, throw them back in, um, which is pretty convenient. Um, so that's kind of really everything I have for the on wireless Bluetooth headphones. Um, the only, I don't think I mentioned it before, but as far as um, Bluetooth connectivity, you'll get about 20 to 30 meters distance um, from your device before it'll have connectivity activity issues. The best example of this is I've been playing a lot of soccer recently. If I put my phone by the goalpost and I go out to about the 18 box, like just the, the curve or the, the arc beyond the 18 box, I'll start having different connectivity issues where if I turn to the right or left, uh, the right or left earphone will not connect entirely um, and it'll eventually turn off if you're too far from it. And then you'll have to go back to your phone and repair the device. Um, but 20 to 30 minutes it, or meters is a good distance um, as far as connectivity without having issues. I previously had a like TJ Maxx, I think it was an Airstream uh, iPod or AirPod, um, and I had issues just with my phone in my pocket reaching the, the connectivity on the left or right earphone, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, but these work very well for the connectivity. Uh, and I think that's really all I have. If you have any questions, comments about the, the on wireless earphones, I'll be happy to answer them. I think they're a great uh, product for $20. You can pick them up from Walmart either online or in the store. I'll definitely leave a link in the description below uh, if you're interested in purchasing these and it, that's really all I have. So if you have questions post them below. If you like this video please um, subscribe and like. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great night.